So you may have just turned on your iPhone or maybe you're signing up for the first time or the hundredth time and you're actually trying to figure out whether you want to keep your iPhone display zoomed in or you want to keep it the standard zoom. Now, the differences between these, there's not anything crazy. So I want to keep that in mind. There's nothing that's set in stone either. So if you choose one, you can always change it later with like, you know, within your settings at a later moment. Now, I want to get some big things out of the way. Whether you're doing a zoomed in display or you're doing the standard zoom, there's not a big effect on battery life or performance or anything like that. All it really is, is that it's pretty much just keeping your display either larger text technically or smaller text, which is the default. Now, I would probably say if your eyesight is good or if it's good enough for your iPhone and you've always used your default display, I would probably recommend keeping your default display on. And the reason for that is because within the default display, that is basically how these applications were meant to be had. So if you're opening up a game like Temple Run 2 or if you're doing whatever, those games and applications are already going to be on the default option. The only things that are going to be changed within the applications or games or whatever you're using, for the most part, are pretty much going to be, you know, the standard apps that you're using. So things like your settings app, your app store, your clock application, things like this that are the basic app, Apple applications, those are going to stay the same. But not every application is going to use this, you know, zoomed in option. However, a lot of applications do use the zoomed in display. So this makes your screen, you know, basically it makes these text bigger on these applications. It makes some icons within these applications bigger as well. So if you're, you know, hard of seeing or if it's difficult for you to view certain things within your display, the larger text or the display zoomed option is probably going to be the better option for some people who are in that sector. Now the default display, like I said, it, aka the standard display, is the one I would recommend more people to end up using for the most part. And the reason for that is because within the default display, this is how the applications are going to be looking like on any Apple device you're using that's default, but also there's going to be, I would say, less issues and less discrepancies between the actual applications and the developers who made those apps and the way Apple's kind of set them up for the default view. I personally haven't really seen too many issues from the default view versus the standard, you know, zoomed in method. There's lots and lots of things Apple's fixed throughout the years. So that shouldn't be a really big concern, but it really depends kind of on whether you want to go ahead and have a bigger text, bigger icon view, like viewing experience or a default kind of like standard text type of experience. Like I said, I don't think as far as I can tell, there's no effect on battery life. There's no effect on performance. It's pretty much the same thing across the board as far as I can tell. It really just depends on whether you like larger text or you like regular text. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button helps me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.